Now this next one, I'm going to show you how to set up your VST plugins that you say get some freeware or shareware off the internet. I've already downloaded right here. It's a classic auto filter. It's a VST plugin for your effects. Now what do you want to do first is, like I've always stated, you always want to have an external hard drive. On my external hard drive, what I did was actually put an Acid VST plugins folder. Okay. So, we're going to click on this. It's going to open up WinRAR, which is a zip file. Take the classic auto filter, you want to extract it. And what it, what it is, is um, they're DLL files. So I'm going to go here to Spaz as Shit and just click on my Acid BST plugins and click OK. What it's going to do is going to put that, D that DLL file or that VST plugin into the file. Now, once you have that done, what you want to do is go ahead and you can assign them. Go to Options, come down to the bottom to Preferences, click on that. Now you notice at the top you have VST Effects and VST Instruments. We just put an effect in. Now, see how you have your default VST search folders? Notice I have mine for K, which is spaz as shit, my external hard drive, and the Acid VST Plugins folder. You can browse and put in any other one that you'd like. I'm going to keep it right there though. And then you have alternate search folders. You, want, you can do this for your instruments or your effects. And then you just come down to the bottom and you hit refresh. I'm going to cancel that out because I already, I already have mine in there. Oh, it's going to scan for them anyway. <laughs> But now do you see how to, you can go ahead and load your VST plugins into Acid in case you're confused about that. But like I said, I always do. Um, I always just set up folders and stuff like that, you know, so I know exactly where it's at and, you know, I know how to do it. But if it just comes off as a DLL file, like if you just get the DLL instead of being able to extract it from the WinRAR program, what you do is you can just either drag and drop or you can copy and paste it into the folder that you've made. Now, normal ones, like on computers if you're running it, what it's going to look like, it's going to look like this. You can go into your C drive, to your program files, scroll all the way down to the bottom, and then this is set up, you know, for Windows. They already have a VST plugins folder. I don't really use that. So, like I said, I use I use my own. Um, but this is going to be where you copy and paste that DLL file or you would extract that VST plug into. And then, of course, like, like I said before, go up to the options and come on down. I hope this is helping you out. If you have any ideas, just feel free to comment me and uh, I'll, I'll see what I can do to help you.